guys, she is here. She is finally here. Summer is back. Unfortunately, Aoki does not share the same level of excitement as I do because it turns out that he's more of a winter boy. Ice, snow, he's a cold weather little dude, the complete opposite to his mama. We've had some serious hot weather where temperatures went as high as 35 degrees. I remind you this is Aoki's first summer. He can't handle the heat um, very easily. His stamina is lower, he's out of breath, and he'd randomly lounge in the grass to take a break. I had no idea what the signs of a dog overheating were. And so yes, I was unprepared. I noticed that Aoki was drooling like crazy, panting intensely, and pooping weird. So I had to change our routines habits and the logistics around our days the problem is that aogs hates getting wet and most common tips that popped up when researching is getting them a pool which is not ideal because aoki hates water so that was obviously not an option so today i'm sharing my top tips and tricks to keep your puppy cool especially the ones who hate water my first tip is the easiest to implement in your routine. It is going shady. I opt for early morning walks before it gets too hot out. That would be around 7 or 8 a.m. And go for evening walks as well when the sun is lower or completely gone. So it is cooler and nicer to do our walks. And if ever we're out and about or going for hikes, we usually go in the morning. And also we keep the walks on the grass or on dirt paths as much as possible because their paws can get dehydrated and crack if they walk on hot pavement. So even though it is 25 degrees Celsius out, the asphalt temperature can rise up to 50 degrees Celsius. So keep that in mind and use a wax or some type of cream to put on their paws before you go out. I myself use Saker's Pole Balm, which is made in Canada, organic, safe and bees free. I will link it below. I don't know about you, but I'm usually out and about during summer and because of that, I usually carry a lot of stuff around. So whenever we go out, I bring a cooler bag with me and that is super handy. I got mine at Costco last year and I'm obsessed with this one. Alki and I went to the park the other day and I packed so many frozen Tritos, toys, sunscreen, food, drinks and much more. Um, so 100% recommend that one. Something else that helps Aoki keeping cool is his cooling mat, which is also super handy. It is made out of a gel material that stays cool even in hot weather. I usually pop mine in the freezer to make it extra cool. And although he did not like it at first, he slowly started using it recently. I guess he realized it actually helps him and it's a great size and shape. It makes it easy to transport. I purchased mine on Amazon. I will link it down below. As you know, Shiba Inus have double coats, so that is not a helper in the summer. So I make sure to brush him weekly to remove that excess hairs. And so far, Aoki has had three rounds of shedding and it is not easy and not fun to do, but it is something that really helps them keep cool. You know what else is a huge helper in the summer? It is the aircon. I use it in the house, in the car, and I can tell it really makes a difference. I know it is not the best for yourself, your skin, the environment, but Aoki has such a hard time breathing and keep cool indoors, just leaving the windows open do not help him much. So whenever I put the aircon on, I can tell the difference. So that's a big plus. If you don't have one in your house, get a portable one. It is 100% worth it, especially if your doggos have double coats. 
Also, quick side note, the hammock I have in the car for Aoki has this small net in the middle part that helps the circulation go in the hammock itself. And if ever you have to purchase a hammock, I would definitely keep an eye for that. I will link mine in the description box. Another obvious way to keep your puppies cool is the use of water. Now, I know that this video is all about puppies who hate water, but I would definitely recommend carrying water everywhere you go. And my pro tip is to use an insulated water bottle. I have mine again from Costco. They come in a pair. I have that always in my little water carrier that I got from Amazon. I will link that below as well. Um, but I always have cool or cold water at hand it's super important to have that especially if you go on long walks i know that aoki loves drinking water and having that at hand is super convenient now since your pup hates getting wet it is harder to keep them cool so one thing i noticed is encouraging aoki getting in the water while surrounded by other doggos who enjoy splashing in the water themselves. Um, he gets more comfortable and it is easier for him to get wet and refresh himself. I also recommend making water fun. So turning it into a game helps Aoki associating water to something positive. So I always play around water. There's a little water playground thingy next to my house and I always go near that and encourage him into getting in the water. That does not always work, but it's just having him around water is and associating that to something that's great and fun really helps him on the long run. Don't forget to reinforce with Tritos. So keep them at hand. Again, I use my training pouch and wear it whenever I know that will be in a tough situation, difficult for him to adapt. The other day we went hiking and all the dogs were in the water. It really helped him. He didn't really enjoy it, but it helped him, encouraged him to go in the water. The other day we went on our very first sup experience together um, and he did fell in the water a couple of times but I had my treats with me I always kept encouraging him that he was doing so good he was patient and keeping it really fun and light so that he is not stressed more about the situation one last water related tip is getting a wearable that you can get wet i saw one of his friends wearing that the other day on our little hike um, and it really helped him get cool and enjoy his walk more so i will definitely get mine i know that canada pooch has some of those this cooling vest is meant to be light so that it keeps them cool without actually wetting them especially if your pup hates water like mine my last tip would be about icing it. I mentioned icing your doggo's water, but I recently started doing this hack and would 100% recommend to every parent watching this video because first it is inexpensive to create, it is effective, it is yummy, and it is easy to store in your freezer and also versatile. You can make as many options as you want to and this is regarding food snacks and Doritos for your doggos to start very simply just use whatever you have in your pantry in your fridge i myself use some quail eggs dental treats peanut butter and greek yogurt as well as a bit of canned food and just put it in some ice trays i have mine different from my regular ice trays because i don't want to mix his stuff to my own stuff because yes i freeze treats for myself too but he loves it i can tell it's really fun for him to eat those let me know if you want me to share my recipes with you i'd be more than happy to do so In the meantime, I wish you all to have an amazing week ahead. We hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. 
If you want to see more from Aoki and I, hug that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.